How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I have for you guys some ranked seasons gameplay. I'm currently at 858 rating. I'm making a push towards World Series. And let's go ahead and hop right into this gameplay. We are going up against Signature Series Bartolo Colon. You get this card by completing Coog's moments and missions and once you complete those then you get an unsellable Bartolo Colon. Definitely a pretty good card. I have gone over his stats in a previous video. The one thing about him is that he has lower hits and Ks per 9. But his control is very good. He has good speed differential on his pitches. And we are going up against somebody who was following the channel. I didn't realize it right away. But he did uh, post a screenshot of him going up against me. Or matching up against me on Twitter. So uh, I wanted to keep that in mind. Once that happened, I did not want to send a friendly quit. But at this point, uh, throughout the game, we have had a little bit of lag. A couple pitches have already frozen and that was what was happened in the previous at bat with Joey Votto for him in the first inning. I have had some connection issues with my internet the last couple of days to a week. I have been uh, trying everything possible to fix it. I've had the, the internet provider come over several times to check some things out. I've also tested some connection speeds. I've tested some wires. I've tested my router. I'm trying to do everything possible to get everything running smoothly again so I can continue the live stream. But Anyway, I wanted to play against this opponent because he was following me on Twitter. I also wanted to play against this uh, Bartolo Colon. So I have yet to face this signature series, Bartolo Colon, and I have yet to unlock him as well. So I wanted to get you guys some gameplay, whether or not uh, I thought he was good or anything. And I think he is. I mean, he throws 97, 98 miles an hour, and his changeup comes in at 78. So that's a good speed differential there. And, uh, I mean, if thrown effectively, using, I mean, going up against a good opponent, this guy was pitching with him pretty effectively. And uh, definitely a good player at this game, so that was also nice to see. I believe this opponent is already in the World Series. I just had a nice feeling because he does have Ty Cobb, as well as uh, you can easily look up your opponent's rating on the shownation.com. That's something that I talk a little bit about as well for using the website to kind of play the market or look at some of the updates or open up packs if you're not currently on the console but so far there isn't a ton of action in this game there's only been a couple of base hits uh, i think that both players have pitched well and we've also hit the ball hard uh, unfortunately right to some of the infielders some of the outfielders this opponent had a line out in the last inning with ian kinsler that could have easily resulted in a home run uh, we've both hit the ball pretty well thus far. I mean, there he's getting a nice base hit, an infield base hit up the middle. Roberto Alomar unable to make the play. But uh, in the bottom of the fourth inning, he throws a fastball low in the zone. I was able to pull that one with Lou Gehrig. A nice no-doubter from him. He's hitting four, 430 for me. And a bunch of home runs, a bunch of extra base hits. This was a power swing with Rogers Hornsby. That's going to be sent out to left center field. Felt like I got that one. PCI was on it. And I felt like I timed that one up pretty good. Got it off the barrel of the bat. Didn't get the exit velocity I was looking for, though. But so far, I was able to keep the opponent off the board. Hitting-wise, he was able to make good contact. I did throw some pitches over the middle of the plate. But I was kind of uh, mixing in different speeds and throwing inside, throwing outside. The opponent was ready for this one. Up and inside fastball to Russell Martin. He sends that one into the gap. That's going to be extra bases. And with Zach Granke, I was kind of back and forth with the gold bar of confidence. I had it at times. I didn't have it at times. This opponent could definitely hit the baseball. He was making good hard contact so far. He's going to go ahead and test uh, Tony Gwynn's arm out in the outfield with Russell Martin, 64 speed, one of the fastest catchers in the game, and he gets thrown out at the plate. I thought that that was pretty close. I thought he was actually safe, and uh, he does get thrown out. So Tony Gwynn is following up a few innings later with the base hit the other way. Kind of wanted to skip ahead in this one. Some of the plays glitched out while we were playing we had a little bit of lag there's a nice example of something that wasn't too severe but look at his fielder out there in the outfield there were certain situations where i would hit the ball i wasn't sure if it was caught or it would get down and it showed me that his fielder was making the grab so a little bit of confusing so far but we have had a little bit of desync i don't really know what to call it it seemed like uh, the game was just slightly behind at times and other times it would pick up but uh, so far so good I mean we have not lost connection yet I have lost connection recently in a few games and that's also been something that's happened to me pretty much in every MLB the show uh, throughout the times I've been playing MLB the show I have moved around a lot so using different connections using different internets is a little bit difficult but I'm trying to make the most of it I still want to bring you guys good quality gameplay so I'm trying to take out all the lag or as much as possible 
and I was able to uh, get something going in that last inning. I was able to score two runs. I had something else cooking with a two-out rally, and I was unable to capitalize. But uh, anyway, I feel bad for the opponent that I was hoping that he wasn't really lagging in this gameplay. And, I mean, the only reason I continued to play ranked seasons at this time was to try and make World Series, try and make these videos for you guys. And uh, just so far... It's working out, but I just had a bad feeling that we were going to end up losing connection at some point in this game. Just because the lag started to increase a little bit. we It seemed like every other pitch, we were kind of freezing mid-pitch. I'm not sure if the opponent had the same type of thing happen to him. But I wanted to quickly advance the game into the 8th inning. The opponent was able to get 2 down in this one, but he started up a nice 2-out rally. With this base hit the other way from Ian Kinsler, I went with the fastball up and away still with Zach Granke on the mound. He's pitching very effectively up until this point. I mean, solid innings, or solid eight innings from him, shut out baseball, and uh, that's going to bring up Joey Votto. And this is another type of thing that I was talking about. I wanted to give you guys at least some example of what was happening. The baseball kind of just froze mid-flight after it was released from Zach Granke's hand. But later on in the bottom of the eighth inning, the opponent was able to score a run in that one, so it was 4-1. to one. I had a chance to hit, and then I was three outs away from winning that one, and I ended up losing. So I lost 17 points. That opponent was in the World Series. That would have been nice to uh, be able to get those points. But instead of playing another game of ranked seasons on MLB The Show 19, I decided that I would try and make the return of some of these cards that I like to use in MLB The Show 17. We have David Wright, Jimmy Rollins. We have the 99 overall Carlos Beltran, probably the best card in the game as well as the 99 postseason Reggie Jackson. There's also the finest Chris Sale. There's also the 99 overall Oral Hershiser. And the main reason why I didn't want to continue to play 19 is because I'm still trying to get those internet connection things fixed. So I figured I would try and get some good gameplay with some of the cards that I've missed, some of the cards that MLB The Show doesn't really have the rights to anymore, and uh, or potentially could get those rights to some of these players back in a couple years. But I figured, why not? I haven't played this game in a little bit. I did this same exact thing last year. But I really liked a lot of the content in MLB The Show 17. I would say that this is the only game that rivals the amount of content in MLB The Show 19. But this Carlos Beltran, if you didn't know how to unlock this card or if you never played MLB The Show 17, you are able to get that card for free just by playing the game. It was kind of similar to the XP reward path that we have now. But uh, basically you would unlock tickets and once you leveled up to a diamond level 99 or 100, I believe uh, you were able to unlock the Carlos Beltran for 15,000 tickets, which was just an alternative currency. And I also have a couple other guys on my squad from the ticket counter, like the finest Chris Sale, that was my ace pitcher. He was 12,000 tickets in the ticket store. So there's quite a bit of cards that you could uh, unlock that way through buying them for free through the ticket counter. But anyway, uh, Reggie Jackson, this is a postseason card. A lot of the cards that I have on this squad are program cards like for example the Jimmy Rollins is a program card how you unlock the David Wright in this year's game was by collecting the Mets collection doing the team epic that way I also have some of the cards that they released towards the end of the game cycle like that finest Joey Votto some of the postseason cards I have in my on my bench and uh, as well as in my bullpen I have the the postseason David Price that's a lefty I have the finest Giancarlo Stanton on the bench I have a Lou Brock on my bench from the My Career or the Diamond Dynasty program. I forget what exactly what those missions were called, but it was basically a program that gave you free cards. Here's the postseason Reggie Jackson once again squaring one up, sending it to the outfield for a home run. I mean, in this gameplay, that was the first run scored. The opponent at this point doesn't have any hits. We're throwing a perfect game with this Oral Hershiser, one of the best pitchers in this game. All he really had to use was the sinker and the cutter effectively. And it was much easier to pitch in this year's game as well. So we're facing the the uh, ticket counter Chris Archer. This card is also free. And, I mean, there's just a lot of variety of content in this game and a lots of ways to unlock a pretty good team, especially towards the end of the game cycle. I mean, this opponent has a team built off of the postseason program that didn't really take too much time to grind, but he does have a few of those players in there, the D.D. Gregorius, the Justin Turner, that he also had the George Springer. So a few different cards that were very easy to get, also very good. I mean, this year's game, they gave you lots of diamonds for just playing, similar to what we see in MLB The Show 19. And uh, I hope hopefully you guys enjoyed this type of a video. I started 
started to break the game open a little bit. I don't. I wouldn't normally combine MLB The Show 19 and 17 gameplay together, but I do feel that both of these games are pretty similar in the way that they play. I know that in this year's game, they totally revamped the hitting, very similar to what they did in 19. Uh, it's a little bit different than this game, but at the same time, like just late, just early, was more of the meta and in this year's game and as well as it is in in 19 i think that they tried to change a few things up in 18 they turned down the pitch speeds a little bit uh they made off speed more of the meta in this year's game in 19 you can use fastballs a lot more it's a little bit tougher to pitch in 19 than i think in this game but i just i definitely see some similarities in the two with the content as well and uh just wanted to quickly get you guys some gameplay with some of these cards that I miss using. I thought that this would be a lot of fun to do. But to this David Wright, I wish that we would have another Signature Series version of David Wright. Because he does have that really nice swing. I was just late on that one and ended up hitting a triple on it. And I was unable to score that last run. I figured I would just call it there just because the last couple innings there wasn't too much action. But I did want to get you guys that gameplay. I was able to get that win. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.